Well, our report highlights that housing affordability will worsen as rising interest rates outweigh falling property prices. We have examined different housing price and interest rate scenarios. However, we expect housing affordability will deteriorate due to the fast paced interest rate prices. Okay, can, can you give us a sense of, of the scope of this, what, it, what the implications of that will be? Have, have you drawn any conclusions from, from this, uh, this trend? Yeah, so when we look at the last two months where the RBA has increased interest rates, and just last week, the RBA governor has commented that interest rates could reach 2.5% by the end of the year. We have examined a scenario where interest rates reach 2.85%, so 2% rise from today. If house prices were to decline by 22%, housing affordability will worsen. But if housing affordability, if house prices were to decline by 22%, housing affordability will remain at the same level as it was in May. If we look at the scenario where house prices decline anything less than 22%, then housing affordability will indeed worsen. It's a, you're using some fairly straightforward statistical benchmarks here, C. Um, housing in Australia doesn't really rely on statistics or, or, or economics even uh, in, in its, in its uh, makeup. It really is a matter, of, a matter of politics and a matter of investor sentiment, isn't it? And it's, a, it's amazing how investor sentiment in Australia has just been utterly impervious to anything that we might consider reality. You look at what happened after 2008. The U.S. housing market was wildly inflated. It reverted to trend. The Australian housing market kept going. You look at what happened in COVID. There was this minor blip. We've had 25% rises in Aussie house prices during COVID. Is there anything in this market that you can see that might have any impact on correcting that trend? Yes. Yeah, so in May, house prices did decline after the first interest rate hike. And so with interest rates rising in June and in the coming months, we should see this coming down. For context, the largest decline in house prices in the last decade was in the two years to June 2019, where the average Australian house price declined by 8.6%, and in Sydney and Melbourne, it declined by 16% and 12% respectively. So when we look at how house prices will fall in conjunction with rising interest rates, that dynamic should apply. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.